Bueno, parece que no va a venir nadie hoy. Pero igual tengo que cubrir la hora. Ah, Irving, hello. I was thinking that I will be staying alone to get here, but thanks for coming. How was your weekend? Hello. How was your weekend? It was Long fine. weekend. <laughs> yes. How was But it? I worked, I worked tonight. I worked the last night. You work on, on Sunday? Yes. Uh, in what kind of work do you do? I'm a mechanic in a textile uh, ink. Yeah, factory. Yes, in a factory. Uh -huh. And you don't close on Sundays or you have to give a maintenance? It is it is twenty four seven. Oh, okay. We we have uh two which, which uh which uh factory is it? Que fa que uh, que fabrica es? Hayes brand. ¿Cómo se llama? Hayes brand. Hayes brand. Yes. Ah, es de la que hace calzoncillos y cosas así, ¿no? Sí, yes, sí, sí, sí. Okay. It's a maquila, then. Yes. We, we, I am in the part of the making of uh, the... La tela? Tela? How do you say tela? Clothes. The material. Yes, the, the, the material prima. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. It's so, a pity that we don't have any crops of or, uh, cotton crops because our cotton used to be the one of the best in Latin America. Yes. We used to have uh, fields in in Usulután with co cotton fields and they are one of the best in Latin America. I don't know why no. they stopped to have them, but. La mayoría de, de cultivos se, se pasó a la caña. No sé por qué. Well, I guess mm -hmm. that we should keep differential crops, no one crop, because yes. uh, at the beginning, we only have a yield. Then we yes. only have coffee. And and we have to eat other things. We don't have we don't have to use our land only to grow things in order to export. Because we also have families to feed. So we need to have differential crops. And if you have differential crops and you rotate them then you don't get a, a so much for the earth you you don't get a, a what's the name insects ah, yes. if you rotate the crops you don't get a, insects because they tend to go for the crops when only that crop You grow only that crop there, then they get they get insects. But if you rotate the crops, you don't let the, the insects to develop. Okay. Uh, the, also the, the minerals was también la tierra como Yes, que it's, it's better for the soil mm. to rotate yes. because you don't you don't use always the same Uh, nutrients and you also have to incorporate uh, the same plant that you already uh, finished using you had not to cut it and, and burn it but you had to 
put it again in the soil. Yeah. To use it later because all all the nutrients will come back to the soil. I am not agricultural engineer in, in engineer, but I know a lot about crops. <laughs> yes, I, I know it. I, I see that. Yes, I love it. I guess that if I went to 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 the agricultural ministry and start running it, I could do a, a great progress in El Salvador. And I will ask to uh, have again the IRA. Maybe you don't know about it, but it was a, an institution that regulates the price for the crops. Okay. And, and uh, se llamaba Instituto Regulador de Abastecimientos. The government buy the crops at a good price and they have them in, in this little, in, in, in uh, big uh, silos. And also they have a little stores or you can ask if you want to have a, a, an IRA a outlet at your home, you can ask to have an outlet in your home and you can sell, but you have to sell a, the rice, a milk, beans and other things at the price the government said. Por eso era regulador de abastecimiento. Uh -huh. And then uh -huh. you were the ones that buy the crops from the peasants, o sea, de los campesinos, and you sell it to the public. In that way, you don't uh, uh, put too much prices on the a basic a food for the population. I guess it's better because yeah. sometimes the, the sometimes the peasants say that they cannot sell their their products at good prices because uh, nobody wants to pay it, and they say it's a waste of time uh, doing the crops. Just but if the government buy it at good prices and then sell it to the public at good prices, a, sta a stabilized price, it's better for everybody. Yeah. But I don't know why they take out that that, uh, that institute. System. May maybe because they want to to Uh, to get in the corruption. Yes, I okay. think so. <laughs> okay, hi, Gabriel. Now we are going to look, talk about likes and dislikes. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi. A and little bit late, a but new, I... we have a newcomer. Miguel Antonio, <laughs> welcome. Hello. Okay, now, somebody to read the thought for today, please. Who won? Okay. I'm going to read. Okay. There are two educations one should teach us how to make a living and the other how to live. Okay. Because it's not the same. No. It's not the same. Uh, there is a saying in El Salvador that uh, they said, Trabaja para vivir, no vivas para trabajar. Okay. okay. Because yes. it, 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 this this is almost the same, okay? 
two types of education. Why should teachers how to make a living? That means una educación que, que te que te dé una profesión o te dé un, 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 un trabajo. And the other have to live because it's not the same. Uh, some people don't learn how to live. O sea, hay, 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 hay personas que no saben eh, cómo vivir. And they only try to make more and more and more money. And that's why... Eh, and they don't, they don't care how to do it. O sea, no les interesa cómo lograr lo que quieren. They don't have values, whatever. But here, how to live is different because you can have a very good life without having a lot of money. Yes. But it, it's the way you enjoy life, okay? La forma en que usted eh, disfruta de la vida. Okay. Eh, in last eh, lessons, we were talking about the regular adjectives. And there are short adjectives and there are long adjectives. And with the short adjectives for the comparative ones, you have to add ER and then done. And for the yeah. longer ones, you have to put more before the adjective and then done. Okay. And for the superlative, in the short ones, you have to add EST and you say the shortest. And for the long one, you have to say the most, and then the adjective, okay? And the irregular adjectives, you have to learn them, okay? Good, better than, the best, bad, worse than, the worst, little, less than, the least, well, better than, the best, much, more than, the most, Many more than the most, okay? And we have the lesson objective for uh, this section. And it says, in these lessons, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Okay, now, uh, first follow the rhythm and then we will read and repeat, okay? Do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? Oh, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No. I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay. And one thing about Celine Dion. Have you ever heard uh, Celine Dion singing? Yes. Yes. Do you think she's a native English native speaker? I think so. No, she speaks French. Oh. But she sings uh, in English uh, by phonetics. So somebody writes her everything in phonetics and then she follow. Uh, in phonetics, you can read whatever language you want to, 
to read because it's is 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 easier. Okay, but she she even can do it with Spanish if she wants. But she she doesn't speak uh, English. She speaks French. And when you hear hear her uh, singing, you cannot say she's a French speaker. Yeah. I like it about her. Interesting. Yes. Now, uh, listen and repeat, okay? Do you like rap, Liz? Do you like rap, Liz? Do you like, Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? No. No, I, I don't, don't like, like it like very it much. It very Do much. You? Do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan big fan of, of Eminem. Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? I think I, think I, I know him. Does, Does he, he play, play the, piano? the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. The piano. The piano. No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He's, He's a, a singer. singer. Um, I guess I don't know much about rap. Oh, oh I, I guess, guess I, don't I don't know much, much about, about rap. rap. So, what kind of music do you like? So, so what kind, what of, kind music of music like? do you like? I really like pop music. I really, I like, really like pop music. music. Who's your favorite singer? Who's your, Who's favorite, your favorite singer? singer? Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Celine Dion. I love her voice. I, I love, love her, voice. her voice. Do you like her? Do you, you like, like her? her? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. I, I don't, don't like, like pop, pop music, music very, very much. much. Okay. Now, uh, what type of music do you like? Uh, Irving? Mm. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I, I don't know. I like the music in general. I don't have a a preference. Do you I like so. all type of music? Are you sure? Yes, uh, I because uh, when when I live when my father my father is, is listening to. Uh, tropical music like uh, bachata, cumbia. I don't like it when I when I grow up. I I like the the rock music, but now I I listen all the music like pop and. Well, I like almost uh, all kind of music. I like almost all kind of music, but there are some singers that I cannot say that they are really singing or that it is at all music that's why i i'm asking and there is another okay. type of music that i don't like so much but there are some that i can stand a little but for example the the mexican music but not the nowadays music, but the one from the Rancho Bounce. Grande, okay? <laughs> the, mm. But the, the kind of, of country music, but it's, it's uh, the, the old ones. Ranchero. Casi me dan ganas de tirarme un balazo con eso. <laughs> uh, there are some that are good. For example, the ones from... Uh, Calibre 50, I like them because it's more likely like almost pop music. Okay. Um, 
but uh, the other one, the, the, the old ones, I don't like them. Ah, the old ones. Yes, the, the like. Gabriel, Ana Gabriel. No, no, no. Uh, I, 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 like, I like Ana Gabriel. I, I, I like. Uh, I like pop music, but I mean, ah, eh, la, la que le llaman de ranchería. Ah, yeah. O sea, la, 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 banda, I, I think that they name banda music. Sí, pero, pero de, 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 del tiempo antiguo. Because nowadays band music is nice, like It's calibre pop, 50. Uh -huh. But the, the, the old ones are... Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't like them. But now a days I can stand them a little because uh, after listening to it several times, you're getting used to it. Like what happened with you. So you're getting used to the music that your father likes. Yes. Uh huh. Now, what about you, Miguel Antonio? What kind of music do you like? Uh, I my favorite music is rock it metal. I don't metal. like you know uh -huh. my my best friend is crazy with metal music. <laughs> he loves it. He even went to the to the concerts in, in, in El Salvador when there are uh, uh, Metallica concerts in El Salvador, he is always there. And I'm not fan of, of uh, heavy metal mu uh, rock music, but there are several different kinds of, of, of rock rock uh, rock music. The other mm. softers, I love it. Okay, for example, Elvis Presley. Um, stuff like that, uh, I like it. But for example, Kiss, some of them, some of their music, I like. And I also like Electric Light Orchestra. It's very nice. And other, other ones, okay? But I stand more heavy metal than rancheras. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Gabriel Ortega? Well, I um well, I don't accustom to to listen uh, much music, but I can hear uh, almost everything. Uh, uh, maybe I don't like the Do you have a uh, car? Yes. Do you have a radio in your car? Yes, I have, but um, I I remember when I what the fair cars I I had a big uh, what's it? How do you say, bocina? Uh, uh, I I I have a a big slow buffer. Ah, uh -huh. okay. I I like to to go driving on the street with the high level music, but when I what kind of music um, do you put in, in in high volume? Well, I remember rap? that I, no, <laughs> not much. Uh, maybe a uh, rat because uh, rap. Uh, the rat have a a big bass, and I like when. That's a woofer. Boom, boom, boom. Um, <laughs> I, well, I but... have a, I have a neighbor that loves that in his car as well. Yeah. And if you do that uh, mostly on, on the weekends, even my bed starts shaking. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and the windows from my home and the doors are boom, boom, boom. Once <laughs> I had to call the police. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I told them, please come. And they say, which is, which is the, the, the number of the, of the house. And I told them, you come 
to Las Cañas Street and you will find out which house is it. It, it is <laughs> horrible. <laughs> and it, but that's, it's okay if you want to listen to your music, but don't make your neighbors jump with it. <laughs> Especially yeah. at the hour, almost the 10 from 11, now. 11 at okay. night. <laughs> Come on, who can sleep with that? <laughs> okay, or even um, when and the and the uh in the town when the when the house is a little uh, small and the the wall is uh no, it, 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 it is a thing what, and there <laughs> you know what's the worst thing is that we are not a, a neighborhood that is wall to wall. We have a, a plot of land surrender the property. So we are not wall to wall. We have a space between, between houses. And still it makes my, my walls and, and, and floor jump. Imagine the volume. <laughs> Because when it is when it is wall to wall, you can you you can uh, sneeze and your neighbors say uh, salute. <laughs> but when there is a plot of land around your house and around his house, and still it makes me jump. Come on, too much, too much. Too much. But well, is is the way they I I guess that. Yes, I have my rights, but I also have to respect the others. But sometimes the, the, those those uh, are just a uh, etapa in the life. Yes, I, I guess that after after calling the police, he 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 changed, <laughs> he changed. The, the stage <laughs> because <laughs> he doesn't do it again. <laughs> he learned the least the lesson. Yes, he learned. Oh, okay. Now, uh, do you want to do uh, the 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 dialogue, or do you want to repeat it again before uh, do it yourself? Lo quieren repetir de nuevo, o o lo pueden hacer ya ustedes mismos. Hello. Do you want to repeat it again? I think I am ready. You are ready, okay. Who wants to go with Uriel? You will be Tom, okay? Okay. Teacher, I'm sorry, I had to disconnect maybe 10 minutes and- Okay, I... okay, don't worry. Miguel Antonio? Uh, uh, Uriel, you are Tom and Miguel Antonio is Liz, and then you switch, okay? Okay. okay. Do you like rap, Miguel? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of Eminem. I think I, I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He is a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So what kind of music do you like? I really, I really like folk music. Oh, who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love it here, boys. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, thank you. Now I switch. Tell me. Uh, do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. 
I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. He's he's a singer. He's a singer. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Favorite. Favorite your, singer. Your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, any any questions about vocabulary? No. no. Okay. Now, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do or does, along with WH question work. Acuérdense que les había comentado yo que está el verbo to be y está los other than be. El verbo to be es auxiliar para sí mismo, no necesita de auxiliar. En cambio, los other than be necesitan el auxiliar do o das tanto para hacer eh, las oraciones negativas como las interrogativas en... Eh, Simple present. Pero ahorita nos está diciendo que nos van a llevar más que todo por las interrogativas y con WH word. ¿Se acuerdan que yo ya les pasé la lista de los WH words? O sea, la mayoría. Ah, hay, hay unas cuantas más, ¿verdad? Pero esos son los más, los más eh, usables. Bueno. Y si se fijan, Aquí está yes, no question. Esta es yes, no question, la que, las de la izquierda. Y las de la derecha son WH questions. Este, las yes, no questions pueden contestarse en short answers y pueden contestarse en long answers. En cambio, las WH questions siempre van a estar preguntando por información. Entonces, usted no puede decir solamente sí, sí, sí lo hice o sí, sí, así es o algo, sino que tiene que dar la información que le están requiriendo. Entonces, eh, repeat after me. Do you like rap? Do you like rap? Yes, I do. Yes, yes I do. I do. Aquí esta sería una short answer, ¿verdad? Con eso ya la contestó y si solo con eso se queda y no le especifican a usted que dé una long answer, ahí usted ya lo contestó. Pero si le dicen, give me a complete answer or a long answer, entonces usted tiene que agregar aquí. Entonces, yes, I do, I like it a lot. Entonces, esa ya es como un poquito más largo. Eh, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't like it very much. No, no I, I don't, don't like, like it, it much. very much. Si, si solo lo dejamos hasta no, I don't, esa sería una short answer. Pero eh, ya eh, haciéndola más larga, la, le agregan eso, ¿ok? Ahora, con eso es el do lo ocupamos para todas las otras personas gramaticales y el das se ocupa para he, she, and it, o sea, para tercera persona del singular. Entonces, tenemos, does he play the piano? Yes, does he play, he play the, piano? the piano? Yes, he does. Yes, he, yes does. he does. No, he doesn't. No, he no, doesn't. He doesn't. Do you like, no, do they like the Beatles? Do they, do they like, like the Beatles? Yes, they do. Yes, yes they, they do. do. They love them. They, they love, love them. them. 
No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't like them very much. No, they don't like, like them, them very much. much. A mí me gustan los bifes. Me ayudaron mucho en muchas en, en muchos ex, en, exámenes de, de, de cómo se llama de inglés. <ríe> Hubo muchos exámenes de inglés que yo los contesté a pura música. <ríe> <ríe> No, no necesariamente solo de ellos, pero por ejemplo, me acuerdo eh, que me preguntaron una vez y yo ni había estudiado es, eh, eh, en esa ocasión este, eh, lo de las monedas. Entonces, pero me acordé de, de creo que, que es Piches en Herbo o uno, una de, de esas, de las viejitas que decía, a penny for your thoughts, a nickel for a kiss, a dime if you tell me that you... Con eso la contesté. <ríe> penny, eh, eh, este, un, un centavo. Este, nickel, cinco centavos. Y dime, diez centavos. Con eso contesté el examen. <ríe> Y dicen que, que escuchar música no es bueno, como claro que okay. sí. <ríe> ok, entonces, eh, repeat after me. What kind of music do you like? What kind of, music, kind do of music, like? music do you like? I like rock a lot. Mm, I like rock, I a, like lot. rock a lot. What does he play? What, What does, does he play? play? He plays the guitar. He plays the guitar. What do they like? What? Ah, do no, perdón. They like? Who, 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 who do they like? Who do they like? They like you too. They like you too. Lo que me gustaba de YouTube eran los videos. Porque eh, que, que había parte que la hacían así como con, con lápiz. Me gustaba. Este. Vaya, tenemos. Vaya, si se fijan en el primero, dice: What kind of music do you like? O sea, aquí está preguntando por general information. ¿Verdad? ¿Qué tipo de música te gusta? Después dice: What does he play? Entonces, ¿qué es lo que él toca? En este caso, es de tocar, no de jugar. ¿Ok? Algunas veces uno se confunde. Porque play mm -hmm. es jugar, ¿verdad? O sea, entendemos, pero también está play de piano, play de guitar, play de flute. Entonces, ese es tocar para nosotros en español. En who do they like? Aquí está preguntando por personas, ¿verdad? Entonces, yeah. está los object pronouns, ¿verdad? Este, yo creo que la vez pasada les comenté que los personal pronouns, ¿verdad? Se dividen en subject pronouns y object pronouns. Los subject pronouns son los que realizan la acción. Y los object pronouns son sobre los que recae la acción. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo a usted, you told me, ¿quién hizo la acción? You. ¿Sobre quién recayó? Me. ¿Verdad? Porque a mí me dijeron. Entonces, este, y aquí hay una pequeña explicación eh, sobre person and gender. Eh, first person singular, I or me, could be male or female. Porque depende de quién sea el que esté hablando. The second person eh, singular could be male or female. And is the one that you address directly. O sea, es a quien usted le está hablando directamente. Esa es la segunda persona eh, gramatical. 
And the third person, uh, in this case, singular, el, el male is he, y el object him. El female is she, y el object her. Y el neutro o el para animales y cosas es it. Entonces, esto es con respecto a las personas singulares. ¿verdad? Entonces, la primera persona es la hablante, la que está hablando. La segunda, a quien usted se dirige directamente. La tercera es de quien se está hablando o a quien nos estamos refiriendo que no está en la conversación. ¿Sí? Primera persona a la que habla, segunda persona a quien le están hablando y tercera persona de quien están hablando que no está ahí. Bueno. En el caso del plural es lo mismo. We es que eh, estoy incluido yo el hablante y, y una persona más o más de una persona conmigo. Este, el second person eh, plural, que es you, a, a quien nos estamos dirigiendo directamente, y third person singular, eh, plural, que sería they, que puede también ser hombre o mujer, o puede ser neutro. ¿verdad? O sea que el they y el den lo ocupamos para referirnos también a objetos. ¿verdad? No solo a personas. Y tenemos lo mismo, ¿verdad? Este, lo que les decía. Eh, personal pronouns. Ambos son personal pronouns. Tanto el subject como el object. Pero el subject es el que realiza la acción y el object es el que re recibe la acción. ¿Alguna duda o consulta? ¿No? Entonces, just repeat this. I, me. I, me. I, you, me. you. You, you. He, him. He, him. He, he. She, her. She, she, her. she, her. It, it. It, it. it. We, us. We, we us. We, us. You, you. You, 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 they, them, they, them, they, them. But if they, si se fijan, una cosa es personal pronouns y otra cosa es este possessive pronouns, verdad? Y possessive adjectives que ya lo vimos anteriormente. Entonces, hagan la comparación ustedes. Entonces, este, aquí eh, una explicación de lo que son los object pronouns. Repeat after me. Pronouns are small words. Pronouns are small, are small words. words. That take the place of a noun. That take, that the, take place the place of, of a noun. A noun. Pronouns are words like. Pronouns are pronouns words like. He, you, he, you, he, you, ours, our, ours, themselves, themselves, themselves some, 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 each. 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 Vale. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Por ejemplo, este themselves. Este no es un personal pronoun. Este es un este, reflexive pronoun. Este, o sea que cada uno de estos es otro tipo de pronouns, pero siempre son pronouns. Bueno. De que están, están en vez de un nombre. We can use a pronoun instead of a noun. We can, we use, can a use a pronoun instead, instead of a noun. If we didn't have pronouns, if we, if didn't, we didn't have pronouns, pronouns, we would have to repeat a whole lot of nouns. We will have, we to, will repeat have to repeat a whole, a whole lot of, of, of nouns. Noun. 
personal pronouns. Personal, personal pronouns. Personal pronouns. Represent specific people or things. Represent, Represent specific, specific people, people or, or things. things. We use them depending on. We use we them use depending, them depending on. on. Number. 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 Singular or plural. Singular, Singular or plural. Or plural. Person. Person. person, first person, second person, third person. First person, first person, second person, second person, third person. Si se fijan, las personas son tanto en singular como en plural. O sea, yo puedo decir first person singular o puedo decir first person plural. Y me está hablando de diferente. Por ejemplo, esta I es first person singular, pero we es first person plural. Ok. Now, uh, gender. 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 Male or female. Male or female. female. Male or female. Or neuter. Or neuter. Case. 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 Subject or object. Subject of or Recuérdense que la más eh, la forma más fácil de, de distinguir si es un uh, subject o es un object es ver qué está realizando en la oración. Si está siendo el que ejecuta la acción es eh, subject. Si está siendo quien recibe la acción es object. ¿Verdad? We use personal pronouns in place of the person or people that we are talking about. We use personal pronouns. We use personal pronouns. We use personal pronouns. In place of the person or people that we are talking about. In place, in place of, of person or people, or people that, that we are talking about. My name is Joseph. My name, my name is, is Joseph. Joseph. But when I am talking about myself, but when mm -hmm. I am As talking, talking about, myself, about myself, I almost always use I. I, I almost, almost always, always use, use I. I. Or me. Or me. Or, or, ¿Cuál sería la diferencia entre usar I o usar me, eh, Suleima? Que I sucedería como primera persona, como diciendo yo estoy. Y sí, me eh, sería es cuando está realizando la acción. Ajá, ¿verdad? cuando está realizando la acción. Exacto. ¿Y me? Y mi, este, por ejemplo, cuando ella se está ejecutando. Cuando está recibiendo. Cuando la está acción. como recibiendo, recibiendo la, recibiendo la acción, ¿verdad? Ok. Not just as, ok. No, when I am, when I'm just. talking direct to you, when I am when, talking direct to you, when, when I am talking, talking direct, direct to, you, to you, I almost always use you. I, I almost, almost always, always use, use you. Not you. your name. No, your name. Not your name. When I am talking about another person. When, when I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about another, another person, person. Say yo. Say yo. I may start with John. I may I start, may with, start John. with John. But then. But then, but then use then, he or use him. He use or him. Use he or him. And so on. And so on. And so on. O sea, que esta, esta es una explicación de cómo es que se utilizan los personal pronouns. Entonces aquí tenemos unos ejemplos. In each pair, the first sentence shows a subject pronoun. 
the second an object pronoun. Okay. Now repeat after me. I like coffee. I like I coffee. Like. John helped me. John helped John me. Helped me. Si se fijan, eh, aquí eh, nos estamos, lo, estamos resaltando eh, los pronombres eh, un poquito más negrito, ¿verdad? más oscuro. Entonces, I es la primera persona del singular subject y me es la primera persona del singular object. Okay. ¿Verdad? Aquí estoy diciendo que a mí me gusta el café. Y aquí estoy diciendo que me ayudaron. O sea, recibí ayuda. ¿Ok? Now, eh, repeat after me. Do you like coffee? Do you like coffee? Do you like coffee? John loves you. John, John loves you. you. ¿Verdad? Entonces aquí te estoy preguntando directo si te gusta el café. Y aquí estoy diciendo que John te ama. ¿Ok? Entonces este, lo mismo. En el primero es sujeto y en el segundo es objeto. Okay. Now, he runs fast. He runs he fast. Runs fast. Did run beat him? Did run beat him? ¿Verdad? She is clever. She is she clever. Is Does Mary know her? Does, Does Mary, know her? Mary know her? It doesn't work. It doesn't, it work. doesn't work. Can the man fix it? Can the man fix it? Vale. Este, ¿Alguna duda o consulta con respecto a los personal pronouns? ¿No? No, por un momento. Ok. Entonces aquí es lo mismo, pero en este caso son los eh, plural. Ok. En el anterior estábamos viendo los singular y aquí vamos a ver los plural. We went home. We went home. Anthony sí. drove us. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony drove us. Do you need a table for three? Do you need, Do you need a, table a table for, for three? three? Did John and Mary beat you at doubles? Did John Did and Mary beat you, you at doubles? doubles? Double? They played doubles. They, they played play doubles. Play doubles. John and Mary beat them. John, John and Mary and beat them. Vaya los usos. ¿Verdad? Los usos. When we are talking about a single thing. When we are talking, when about, we are talking a about a single thing. thing We almost always use it. We, we almost always, always use, it. use it. However, there are few exceptions. However, there are, there are few exceptions. exceptions. We may sometimes refer to an animal. We may sometimes, we may sometimes refer to an animal. animal. As he or him. As, As he, he or him. him. Or she or her. Or she or, or, or her. She or her. ¿Cuándo creen que sucede eso? Que usted eh, personaliza a los animales. Incluso a los objetos. Porque, por ejemplo, yo tengo un amigo que, que tiene un velero y él le dice ella. Hmm. ¿Verdad? Uy. Porque, porque es ella para él, su bote, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, y, y también él tiene un gato y para él es él, him, ¿verdad? He or him, no es eso. Yo me puedo referir a eso porque no es mi gato, ¿verdad? Pero como es el gato de él, él lo personaliza. Entonces, cuando tenemos una mascota, la personalizamos. 
o cuando tenemos mucho cariño por algo, ¿verdad? Porque, por ejemplo, yo, los carros que yo he tenido, o sea, son mis niños, o sea, y son bien fieles conmigo. <ríe> son más fieles que mi esposo, nunca me abandonan. <ríe> ¿verdad? Entonces, este, eh, eh, esas son los, las, las cosas. Cuando depende, ¿verdad? Eh, la familiaridad que usted tenga con algo, usted lo puede personificar, ¿verdad? Sí. Aquí dice, ¿ven? Some other vessels or vehicles, ¿verdad? También dice, especially in animals is domesticated or a pet, ¿verdad? Cuando usted lo tiene domesticado o es su mascota. ¿Verdad? Algunos barcos, ¿verdad? Como vessels or vehicles, ¿verdad? Y es, es cierto. Now, eh, these are the examples. Este, ¿Quieren leerlos después de mí o quieren leerlos por su cuenta? Bueno. Me, lee el primero. This is our dog, Rusty. He's an Alsatian. Okay, now Miguel. The, the, the Titanic was a great ship, but she sank on her first voyage. Okay. Si se fijan ahí, le, le dicen ella, ¿verdad? O sea, lo están person, personificando. Eh, Sulaima. My first car was a mini and I treated her like my wife. Ajá. Bueno, hay quienes lo tratan mejor que la esposa, lo voy a decir. La tienen bien cuidadita, bien aceitadita. <risa> Etcétera. Now, Thailand has now opened her border with Cambodia. Entonces, eh, estos son dos países, pero los están tratando como mujeres, her, ¿verdad? ellas. Ok. Now, eh, see you tomorrow. Acuérdense que yo siempre entro cinco minutos antes, ¿verdad? Si pueden venir antes, mejor, porque así ha hablamos de, eh, eh, practicamos un poco afuera de lo que es la lección. Eh, okay. Continúen ustedes trabajando en la plataforma. Este, este PPT se lo voy a pasar. Esto que hemos leído ahorita es de mi cosecha, ¿verdad? Como la mayor parte de veces, siempre me gusta darles como información más amplia sobre lo que hemos estado tratando en la plataforma, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque soy teacher. <risa> ok. See you tomorrow. Take care. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye.